Ability to Pierce. I didn't want to have an organization called Ability to Pierce. I didn't even want to be an advocate, but I had a disabled kid. My son had cerebral palsy. And um, when that happens, boom, 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 you all know it. You have to become an advocate. And maybe your kid has to become an advocate. You have to become an expert in the insurance system. You have to become all these things that you never even thought of and that you don't even understand. Like, why do we have to know about C? Wait, is the care manager now? Um, uh, so I got an MSC, the CLO, you got the OPWD, you got the Access ER. You've got an alphabet soup of initials to go through. It's not enough of a hit to have a disabled child that you now have to get a master's degree in bureaucracy, that you have to deal with all of this stuff, and you're scared. Oh, I was scared. I'm sure you were all scared. Nobody plans to have a disabled kid. Nobody's prepped. So I did this. Um, I had this kid, and I'm finding out people are telling me about stuff that's available to him. But you can't, how do you, what's a front door? How do you access it? What, what is this that you get two pages of numbers to call and nobody calls you back? This is acceptable? This is okay? So I went and I tried to apply for Medicaid waiver services. I didn't even understand what I could get. I just was told that I should apply. But it took five years between the time we did the front door and we saw the first services. And I'm sure the people who have agencies, it was first with an agency, will know the person that the agency sent didn't show up half the time. This means my wife or me or has to stop working and stay with the kid. And I'm, I know what you mean about being patient and working with the system, but I'm sorry, the system does not work. Now, self-direction is kind of an amazing thing. It's like one of these software programs like Photoshop. It's so powerful, but nobody really knows how to use it. Not even the people who are in charge that will get on the phone with each other and argue about stuff. Um, so what did I do this summer? I had a really great summer. I got my kid with cerebral palsy into college and living in the dorms. Under self-direction. Now, at some point I said to myself, am I crazy? Because every service that I've ever gotten hasn't worked before self-direction, and I hadn't started self-direction yet. I'm gonna let my kid sleep alone in college with the possibility that the aide doesn't show up, that this happens, that that, why, why should I have faith in the system? But I love my son, he wanted to go away to college. So I said, I'm gonna get on this. I called the uh, head of OTWDD self-direction program. I banged on every door, I made sure all my ducks were in a row that my son could get in college and live in the dorms. And then the college wouldn't give him the accommodations he wanted. So the mayor had a way in. The mayor tweeted about my son. The governor that night told uh, Purchase to accommodate my son, and my son got into school. Happy story, you might have seen in the Post, Channel 7, great story, right? No, because now we had to hire people. We had to clear people. We had to work with this bureaucracy, and we had 22 days to do this. Now, nobody thought we could do it, and it almost messed up, and we did have to pay some stuff out of pocket. But we did. Now, I'm angry that it took this much to get my son to school. He was entitled to it. He graduated from high school. I got an uh, email today that he made the dean's list. I'm very proud of my son. But no child should have to go through what I went through this summer. And nobody should have to have the mayor, the governor, the news all the way in to get your kid to get what he's entitled to. So, what I'm saying is, yeah, if you want to navigate it, and self-direction is a powerful tool, it's much better than the agency because it's a full-time job. And it shouldn't be that way. And we get the things that the FI comes back to us. Nothing's ever signed right. So maybe something's wrong with the forms, you know, that you can't pull it out. Or is it, you know, now, it's a beautiful thing what my son's done, and a lot of it was him. I hired one guy, or we hired one guy who sleeps with her, that sleeps in the same suite with him. And then we hired seven students. Um, these students are invisible. They don't look like there's a big aid coming after uh, my son. 
they integrate him, they become his friends. I mean, there's a complication that, you know, when is it a friend and when are you paying for it, but listen, he's having a better time at college than he's ever had. He said that. You can see it on the news, actually. Um, but it, I'm on foot. My marriage over. Everything had to fall apart for me to make this dream happen. So what I'm saying is we have to, I don't think we have to accept it. I think we have to push and say, this isn't right. You should be able to know what the services are. They should be hidden between names like community. What, what is community facilitation? What is respite? Let's talk plain English. Say, this kid has cerebral problems. This kid has autism. What do they need? What are they entitled to? Get, them, get the services they're entitled to in a timely and dignified manner. Not having somebody coming over and falling asleep. You know? And yeah, I know it takes time, and people say you have to be patient, but we're losing stuff. If my son, they were saying, well, you know, he might take a gap year. So it's an enforced gap year, so he's going to sit on the couch for a year because the bureaucracy is so sluggish that he can't progress from high school to college, um, even though he's entitled to it. He's entitled to a lot. All your kids are entitled to a lot more, unless you're like a genius. Than, than you're getting. And I don't know why that is, or why that should be, or why we have to become experts. But yes, self-direction is the best thing out there right now. Get it, work on it. But let's all work together so that only one of us has to become an expert, right? So that I can go and do other things, and my son can do other things. And we can create jobs, because all of these college students who work for my son are creating jobs and we're strengthening the community bond. In fact, when we were talking about that app for dog walking, I'd like to see an app for caregivers in the neighborhood who are pre-cleared. So I was, someone doesn't show up. Oh, there's a guy down the street who's cleared and he wants a few hours or something like that. We can take innovative, we're, we're still sort of a great country and we can, <laughs> we can make it a, a really great place for these kids, and we can build off of this. If people are thinking about this right, because a lot of jobs are going to disappear with artificial intelligence. We're going to have people unemployed. And we have an aging population, and they're going to be disabled, but not necessarily, but you get older and you need to carry yourself. This is your job day. This is, this, you pay them well, you make it a dignified job. This your tax base. This creates community. This creates. There were ways to solve this. There were ways to get rid of all of this stuff. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be the way it's going. And there's a lot of changes, and we in the self direction community are scared of these changes. Because if we lose this program, as tough as it is to, to, to negotiate, we're, I can't even say that we're here, but you got it. Um, so let's change, let's let's all say, yeah, let's get self-direction, let's make self-direction work. And let's make self-direction clean and as easy as email. Like everyone here sends an email. How many people know about the protocol, the CPIP, the packet switching, right? Imagine if every time you send an email, you had to do all of that stuff. This is what we're stuck with. And people go, yeah, well, you know, have patience and it'll all work out or it won't. They'll change the whole thing again. And we'll all freak out. You know, so let's change the model to the service for the person. These people deserve the service, they deserve the inclusion. Everyone benefits from this when this happens. It can become a financial engine. It's a good way to think about it. And everyone goes, well that costs a lot. Oh, it already costs a lot. And I can't, I'm not an economist or a master, I can't tell you if it's going to cost more or less, but the law says that they're entitled to this stuff. Why, why do people not even know what they're entitled to? Let's fix this and let's um, make it so 10 years from now, that, that's being ambitious, but listen, that there's no meaning here because everyone's services are clean and the kids are getting what they want and have to be facilitated in the community living and enjoying life. So 
And there's a lot of threats. There's managed care change. I don't want to get into all these changes that are coming look like they're going to make it harder to do self-direction. There's a nursing home lobby, apparently. They want to keep people in institutionalized. We have to fight this because that's not, that's going backwards. So self-direction, it's a powerful tool, but I don't think everyone has to, should have to become such an expert to access it. Um, I have a site, abilityfierce.com. I have a show on public access cable. If anyone wants to appear on it, I just talk. I exchange information, and we just put it out there. And um, I'm, I'm fighting the fight, and I'm not accepting things. And I understand that strategy, and I respect it. You know, it's, do, are you Martin Luther King, who is passive, or are you Malcolm X, who by any means necessary? I think you know what side I am. Okay. <laughs> 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 